Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a one of four part video. I will be installing Windows 3.0, Windows 3.1, Windows 3.11, and Windows 3.11 for work groups. Um, realistically, you'll probably get more use out of the Windows 3.11 um, or the 3.11 for work groups, but me, I'm kind of like a collector, I guess, of virtual operating systems. And I just kind of like the nostalgic purposes. I like going back, checking out the systems, you know, how they were and how they progressed over the years. Um, to be honest, my first operating system I ever used was actually Windows 3.11. Um, so to me, it's kind of a little nostalgic when I get to it and I'm like, oh man, I remember this. And it really was so much simpler back then. Uh, it seems like it's more complicated and You'd be surprised, you know, we didn't think we had internet back then with it, and technically Windows 3.11 for work groups had networking involved into it. Um, I will be able to show you later on how to make all that work, but for this video today, we'll be installing Windows 3.0. Um, kind of like my previous videos with Windows 1, Windows 2, um, and so on, chances are you're not really gonna use this in any kind of real environment or anything like that. You just kind of wanna be, hey, I have this, and it's all good to go. You know, show it off to your friends, uh, like my buddy Angel. So, yeah, so let's go on here and start this up. Now, you're going to have to make sure you create a new virtual machine, obviously. You're also going to have to make sure you have MS-DOS 622 installed or MS-DOS 7.1, if that's what you want. Um, as you can see here in the description below, I have MS-DOS 622 with CD-ROM support. You do not need the CD-ROM support. I just like to put it on there because it only takes a few seconds and you never know. You may need CDs down the road. Um, I like to install Doom from CDs on a lot of these, so that's where the CD-ROM support comes in for me. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we guys gotta go and create the virtual machine. When you're picking the virtual machine settings under general here, make sure it's set for other and MS-DOS. I do know that we have here for Microsoft Windows 3.1, but this isn't 3.1, so we can't use this yet. Uh, on part two of the video, I'll actually be installing Windows 3.1, um, and we'll actually start using this where it configures it a little bit differently. Um, for this video too, I also gave myself a little extra more memory. It's not required. Um, and like always, you're going to have to add a floppy drive like we've done in the previous. So we're going to go to add, floppy device. And there we go. All right, I've already actually have one, so we're good. As you can see here, I already got Doom put on here for my CD, because obviously I always put Doom on everything. Uh, my floppy here, as you can see here, I went ahead and mounted my Windows 3.0 disk. Now we're gonna have to make sure we don't connect it. So I have mine disconnected at power on, because you want Microsoft uh, MS-DOS to boot, like, like in all the other previous videos. So. If you haven't had MS-DOS installed, check out my other previous videos on how to install it from here to there. Um, if you want, I am making a newer future videos on all the installs I just did called Quick Installs and pretty much the non-commentary installation of MS-DOS, Windows 1, 2, 3, and so on, straight through as if you, you know, are an expert and know what you're doing uh, pretty much as fast as possible. So, without any more, you know, talking here, I guess, let's go ahead and start this. So, we have everything set up the way we're supposed to. So, click power on this virtual machine. Okay, then we're going to let boot to DOS. And while it's booting, I'm going to go ahead and start the mounting of the floppy drive. So, as you can see here, I got Windows 3.0, 3.1, 3.11, 3.11 for work workgroups. So for this video, we got this. We only got to install five of the disks, I believe. Uh, but it does come with seven for depending if you want to add anything special. I usually skip printers. I usually skip any kind of weird, you know, serial port adding and everything because I'm not going to use it. Um, but if you want to add it, you're more than welcome to. So click connected, hit OK. So as you can see here, we're at the C. So let's go to the A drive. And like always, type in setup. Okay, here's your welcome screen. So we want to install Windows on this computer, hit enter. Okay, now you're gonna have pick a directory. Again, you can make it 
3.0 if you want, 3.1.1, 3, whatever you may be, I always leave it as default. If you are installing this on top of other Windows, like say Windows 2 and Windows 1, you will probably want to change it to Windows 3 so you know in the future what you're doing. Um, I will be covering that in another video as well on how to install Windows 1, 2, 3, and 3.11 all under the same operating system um, in case you get squirrely and you want to do that. So we're going to leave it as default, hit enter. All right, now the nice thing about this is we can leave everything default. The computer will be an MS-DOS or PC-DOS system. Display is a VGA display. The mouse is a Microsoft or PS2 style mouse, and that's what we want. The keyboard, the only thing you can change here is always gonna be an, a you know 84 to 86 key keyboard, unless you have something special here that goes with it. Chances are you probably don't. So I always leave it at all. Same with the language, you can pick any language in the listings here. All right. Me, I just kind of leave it at default. Same thing with language for your actual spoken language and networking. Networking, pretty much, you can pick anything you want on here. I just pick no networking on this one because it's not, again, required for it. So but we'll just go to Microsoft Network just to make it feel good. Okay, so Click uh, press enter to let us know everything's all ready to go. And now we do what we always do. The disk switch. So now we got disk number two. Click on the floppy. And select disk number two. Hit OK. Wait a second. Enter. Okay, now here is everything that you're going to do. Now, this is actually, as you can see from the other previous videos, we didn't have a GUI. We've pretty much just been doing everything with basic command style prompt the whole time. So this is actually the first time Windows introduced their command prompt, uh, I'm sorry, their GUI setup here. So this is actually kind of where it all began to make everything simple to where we are used to seeing today's Windows 10 uh, installs uh, with GUI. So this is our first run. It's not the best GUI in the world, but it gets the job done. So for this case here, the only thing I uncheck is printers because I have no intention of ever using a printer or serial printer or any kind of printing off of Windows. If you want to add it, you can. Uh, just make sure you're able to find some kind of drivers for it because I don't believe VMware actually has printer drivers for this early setup. They do have it for Windows 3.1 and above, but for these earlier ones, Windows 1, 2, and 3, they do not. Okay, and then everything else, I usually just leave everything checked off. So we hit OK for continue. And then we go back down to the little floppy. And then we're going to put in disk number three now. All right, wait a second and hit enter. Okay, and then we're going to now put disk four in. And we're going to do this pretty much all the way to the end. Um, again, if you don't know where the floppy drive is, it's all on the right-hand side at the bottom there. You'll have your little icons, your hard drive, your CD, and then your floppy next to it. You just want to double left-click that, and it brings up your virtual machine settings. So we're going to mount disk number four. Okay, click back in, then hit OK. Then you're going to again press Control-Alt, mount disk number five now. Hit OK. And that is actually all it. Now, again, with this, you can either, if you want to test out the limits here, you can make your modifications later. You can review all of them and edit changes and do all the modification now. Honestly, I just let Windows do all the modifications for me at the moment. Um, if you do plan on actually using this for whatever reason being, I do recommend going through and making all the changes and modifications you know, to what you're using it for. Um, but for this purpose and demonstration, you know, we're just going to keep it, let Windows handle it all. So click continue. And there we go. So now it's letting me know that config.sys has been updated and then they made it back of my old config in case of any kind of issues that arise, you know, with my DOS on the background or even Windows if there's an issue. So we're gonna hit okay.
So this is going to now search for all the disks. Um, when you're setting up applications. But you can pretty much do probably all drives. I usually leave it at drive C because if I do any kind of crazy install installations, it's always off the drive C. Well, at least when I copy everything is to it. Um, but you can leave it as all drives. What that will do is it'll just pretty much look for any kind of applications, whether it's on a CD, a floppy, or whatever, and try to do the installs. So you can see here, it went ahead and found a bunch of them on the hard drive, which again will be located on DOS or the C drives. So C, 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 C. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Add All. All right, hit OK. And that is it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to return the DOS real quickly. Control and Alt. And then we're going to have to now disconnect our floppy if it lets us. Sometimes it always becomes a pain. It did. Okay, now it's time to reboot. So I restart it. And so far I feel that like the Windows 3 was probably the easiest install or the fastest install technically from Windows 1 and 2. Even though the other ones are pretty quick, I do think this one just moved much faster in all the installations. Um, again, your installation times will change a little bit because you do have to install a DOS. Now, you can get away with it by installing a boot CD without putting DOS on there, but you'll run into a lot of errors and a lot of problems, and you really don't want to be bothered with that. Okay, so the first thing is type in CD Windows. Now we're in the Windows directory, and if you just want to take a look, there it is. And like always, we just type in win. Uh, you will be prompted with this um, every time. Again, because they don't actually have VMware drivers for it, um, there is a workaround to get networking here for it, but I don't see a purpose. Um, and there you go. So now you have Windows 3.0 fully installed. And just to sit there and prove it. So we have 3.0 version A. All my system resources, all my memory I got, you know, copyright 1990. So I think 3.11 was 92, 93, something like that. And then from here, you can go ahead and change a few things. Your desktop here, you want to put a wallpaper. Let's go ahead and let's go really old school and go to chessboard. We'll tile it out. Yeah. Look at that. That is some graphics back in the day. Such nostalgic. Okay. Then after that, we got a few games. The old school Solitaire has been around since day one. Let's go back in the control panel here. A few other things we can definitely do. Can't remember too much fonts. Go ahead and pick a different font if you want. We'll use script. Colors. Look at that. That is just amazing. It's going with everything. But yeah. So now this is exactly how we install everything. Here's your file manager. You can see I do have Doom on here. I don't think it runs in here though. And it might. Oh, huh, it does run properly. Alright, I thought it was going to crash on me. And we quit the game. Goes right back out, and there we go. So, yeah, that's how you install Windows 3.0. And I hope everything kind of worked out for everybody. I hope everybody liked the video. Um, again, I did say this is a one of technically three, four parts. It depends on how I want to do the Windows 3.1 one. If I want to do the work groups with it as a whole container video or two separate videos. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing Windows 3.0, 3.1, 3.11, and 3.11 for work groups. And I'll be producing them probably within the next day or two. Um, so again, this is part one of Windows 3.0. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope everybody you know felt this was useful in some way. Um, and if not, I hope you actually enjoyed just the nostalgic purpose. that This is a big leap from our Windows 2, if you actually remember what it looked like. It was... Uh, 
pretty shabby looking. It just kind of just, it was a colorful graphics. At least now I have a full blown mouse support. I can play solitaire. I can go ahead and play doom easily with it. Um, change the desktop patterns, icons. So yeah. So if you like the video, let me know. If you don't like the video, eh, you don't like the video. It is what it is. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and check back later. Um, oh, also, everything we do in these videos is all in the description below. So if you want to actually download the VM directly, you can. I put that down there as well as a download, as well as the actual CDs, or well, technically floppy drives I use to make this whole setup here. So if you want to follow along in the video yourself, you're more than welcome to. Everything's down in the description below on my cloud server. So yeah, everybody have a great day. See you later.